Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. This is your first time to my channel. I welcome you. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, what I like to do is I like to drink craft beer. I like to review craft beer, but I don't like to pay a lot of money doing it. So most of the beers that I review on this channel are going to be around the $2 price range. So that's the uh, story of my channel. Uh, today's selection is from Hop Valley uh, Brewery. This is a brewery with which I have a fair amount of familiarity. Sorry, the geese are making a little too much noise. Um, <clears throat> Hop Valley is uh, is a brewery with which I have a fair amount of familiarity. Going through the list of the beers I've had from this particular brewery, though, it seems like just about everything was either an IPA or a pale ale that I had from them. Uh, only one lager and one blonde, but otherwise all IPAs and, and uh, pale ales. And I have actually had today's selection previously. This is the Citrus Mistress. It is an IPA brewed with grapefruit peel. The explanation, or yeah, the explanation of it is Munich malt, six different hops, and grapefruit peel combined to create this IPA featuring a classic burnt orange flavor color, excuse me, with a bouquet of citrus, peach, and tropical fruits. It has a 6.5 ABV and 80 IBUs. Typically, American uh, IPAs come in between 5.5 and 7.5 for their ABV, so at 6.5 for this particular beer, it's right in range. And usually they come in between 40 and 70 IBUs. At 80 IBUs, that's actually kind of high. A little on the bitter end, uh, bitterer end. And uh, for me personally, I'm a big fan of the bitter IPAs. Um, this beer was brewed less than a month ago, so it's well within uh, date. <coughs> I know some of you uh, IPA purists believe that an IPA shouldn't be, you know, even more than 30 days old. This is more than 30 days old, but just barely, honestly, so it's, it's really well within range. Uh, I have had this beer previously. I had it on draft at Tamea Creek Brewery. And uh, at that time, I gave it a 3.5, which is admittedly not a particularly high score. Um, just to give you some idea, uh, 19 of my friends on Untapped have given it a cumulative score of 3.72. 49,000 of us have given it a cumulative score of 3.74. And Beer Advocate has 387 reviews, giving it a cumulative score of 3.91. On Beer Advocate scale, that's very good. So, I believe I've given you the breakdown, and, uh, hell as I see it, let's just crack into this. Oh, uh, I did fail to mention, which is very important, for, particularly for this channel, I paid $1.99 for the 12 ounce can. So, there you have it. Whoa, serious, serious hold of thing. Okay, let's see if I go to the back of the fridge a little too long with this. I just had a, an eruption from the can. Okay. Well, let us pour through that. Sorry, gang. I, I would normally be pouring this. Let's see. I'll pour this here out. So I like to show the pour. At the same time, I I don't want to end up with beer all over the keyboard of my laptop. So there you have it. And I can already smell those hops. I mean, I can really, really smell those hops. And I, I'm, you know, a few feet away from it. Uh, well, and at least a foot and a half. Um, so I'm going to put this up, and what you are seeing is very close to the actual color of this beer. And I like when that happens. I like when the, the color actually shows up the same as uh, on the camera as it actually is. So you're seeing very true to color. And that is a burnt, burnt orange color. That's exactly how I describe it. Very hazy. Cannot see through this beer. <laughs> Head seems to be well, fairly resilient. Let's do the beard wipe and see what we come across. Well, lots of hop is, is what I smell when I do the beard wipe. Let's me put my nose directly into it and see what I can come up with. Oh, boy, I smell. I want to go through that explanation one more time. Citrus, peach, and tropical fruits. Yeah, that's exactly what I smell. On top of the hops, but actually even more now. The, the hops were on the initial bouquet, uh, initial aroma uh, on the bouquet when I opened the can. The longer it, uh, it's open and the more the air gets to it, it's, it's less hoppy and more, uh, honestly, more fruity. But um, as I said, I gave this a 3.5 on tap. I've noticed sometimes that I actually like uh, beers better in the can than I do on tap. So anyway, I'm going to dig into this and see uh, how I feel about it this time. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to describe that as a uh, 
I would describe it as a high metal feel. Very, very spiky. Um, considering it's 80 IBUs, it's not quite as bitter as I was expecting it to be. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really... <clears throat> I'm tasting the grapefruit peel more than I'm tasting hops. Um, all that fruitiness that came through in the uh, bouquet is uh, not really coming through so much in the flavor. Uh, I think that was my problem that I had with this beer before, is that it's it's good, but it's not noteworthy. It's not exceptional. And uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I love IPAs, but boy, am I really, really getting tired of seeing IPAs on the shelves. And I'm here to tell you, gang, that for a while here, you're going to see a lot of IPAs. Last time I went to uh, the store and picked up beers, <coughs> you know, obviously trying to stay within the $2 price range like I keep it. Um, I, I had a really hard time finding hardly anything besides IPAs. So... Uh, there's going to be a lot of IPA reviews coming very soon, and I apologize for that. I wish that there was a, a better selection of, of different varieties, but right now American brewers have gone crazy for IPAs, and that's what you're seeing. In the meantime, this particular IPA, the one which I'm reviewing, I think I'm going to stick with my 3.5, uh, whether it's draft or can. Either way, it's okay, but um, I just I, I feel kind of shortchanged when... I get a lot of uh, notes on a bouquet, and I'm expecting those to come through in the flavor. And I was smelling a lot of fruitiness in that. And I was thinking, okay, there's even going to be a little bit of a peach or what have you. I do taste the grapefruit peel, that's for sure. And in fact, the can itself says India Pale Ale brewed with grapefruit peel. You can taste the grapefruit peel. There's no doubt about that. Um, but the other fruitiness, the peach, the... Uh, it, it's just, it, it's the grapefruit peel, and it's... And it's an IPA, and I got to I got to say honestly, uh, I have judged home brewers. I'm uh, I'm a member of Snafu Southern Nevada Ale Fermenters Union. I've judged beers there, and I think I've had better homebrew IPAs than this particular one. But uh, buck ninety nine, it's not bad. It's just nothing exceptional. Yeah. It's, I, I feel about the same as I did before, 3.5, which means that it's better than average, but nothing really extraordinary. And if you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you liked about it. Let me know what you didn't like about it. And guys, until next time, drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing it. And cheers. Bye, everybody.